welcome to my channel blue lady thrifting my name is vanessa and today i would like to share with you a haul video from a recent trip to the galleria of arts and antiques i do have a shelf at the gallery of arts and antiques where i sell my handmade quilling crafts and a few vintage thrift finds so let's get started over here with these reindeer cutouts they're Christmas craft toy play. Um, I only paid a dollar twenty-five each for these, and they would resell for about ten to twenty dollars. Not sure if that's each or for the pair. I think it's I think it's each. All right, and then behind that are these um, Department Fifty Six snowy pine trees. Now some loose. At the Gallery of Arts and Antiques, I get really good deals, and some things I really need to look them up in the store. So that one is priced at $8, and I believe they're the same size. And this one is also priced at $8, but I believe she might have been having a 20% off sale. So I paid, I think, $14 for the pair. And they only sell for about $10 to $20 a pair. And they're supposed to have a large, medium, and small tree in the same box. So I don't know how that's going to go reselling. Those may be a keep and be integrated in my own Christmas decor. Possibly, possibly next year. All right, next up is the Santa in Sleigh figurine. I believe he's like got a metal base and he's got little marbles in there. And then I think he's got like a resin um, sleigh there. So I looked him up and he sells for about $10 to $12 and I only paid $1.25 in one of my favorite booths. All right, in another one of my favorite booths, I have a favorite booth on one end of the store and then a second favorite booth on the opposite end of the store. But these back here are a set of, um, I believe, six Russian folk art wood handmade ornaments. I got the set of six for $18, and you can see they're all hand-painted, hand-carved, very cute. She's got a little pot. He's got some nesting dolls, and she's got something there. He has also got a nesting doll. That back there, I think, is a fish and then an accordion. I love these. I do have a big Matrushka doll that is my daughter's, and she has lots of little ornaments inside, so that is definitely what reminded me of these, and so I had to pick them up. Again, I paid $18 for the set of six, and they sell, <clears throat> excuse me, they sell for $10 each so that was pretty cool but you know my kids were born in Russia back when you could adopt children from Russia so those may be a keep as well oh my keeping everything all right next up are the Santa Claus Mary Mary salt and pepper shakers now one is supposed to be Mary and one is supposed to be Christmas but we got two Mary Marys so I paid $3 for the pair of them, and if it was, I, I mean, no one has Merry Mary, they all have Merry Christmas, and they are selling between $15 and $30 for the pair. So I don't know if I'm going to sell them singly in case somebody broke one or sell them together. I will have to think about that one. All right, next up, I found a Giraffe Wade Whimsy. Now, I only paid $1.60 for him because he was 20% off. And um, let's see, he would only resell for about $5. But let me show you him up close. Maybe we can see that made in England. There it is. That made in England right there. Wade, England. So my mother's favorite animal is a giraffe. So that may end up being a gift for her. I'm thinking... All right, and then these little guys, mini ceramic cats. I wasn't sure if this brown one was a cat or not because it looked like a little 
looked like a little dog a little bit to me, but when I Google lensed it, it said it was a it said it was a cat. So these are mini ceramic cat kitty sitting. There's a white and yellow one with blue eyes, and then a brown and white one with blue eyes. And these sell between five and ten dollars each, and I paid a dollar each for them. And that was also in one of my favorite booths. This one was not in one of my favorite booths, and I really have to watch when I'm not in a favorite booth and really look things up to see if it's a good buy. So this is a Lenox Porcelain China Treasures Snowman, um, in parentheses, the Snowy Adventure Box. And it has a bonus inside. It actually has its trinket. And when I bought it, I didn't open it to see if it had its trinket. So I was very pleased to find the little sleigh, the little sleigh trinket inside. And I believe you can, um, it's got a, like a pendant there that you can hang it on a necklace. So I thought that was very fun. Yep, there it is. Um, what did I pay for this? It was on sale 20% off and I paid $6.40 for it with that 20% off, but it only resells for about six to $12. So I don't think that was the greatest pickup either. I'm going to have to watch myself in that particular booth. All right, next up, I liked these and there was a set of three and they were only set of three. They were only, let's see, where's the price? Where's the price? Set of three, set of three. Well, they're not telling me the price right there, but they are actually Southern living at home. They could be a vase or a tea light, votive holder, um, set of three, graduated. Um, there's like, I'm thinking you could even use it like as a candy dish, but I thought they were fun. Now, I did not see this Southern living at home for some reason, but I did notice the handmade in Poland. So I think that's why I got them because it was handmade in Poland and I liked the bubbles and I liked the green color. I thought Christmas, I thought St. Patrick's Day. So I paid $14 for these. And again, they would only resell for about $20. So I'm gonna have to think whether I'm gonna keep these, give them as a gift because I do have several relatives whose favorite color is green. So I'll have to think about that one. All right. And this was not a recent um, Galleria find. There's a couple of Galleria finds that they were just floating around. Like I only found a couple of things that I was thinking of keeping my, for myself or gifting. But this is a, it's a real um, blown egg that is hand painted. And I believe it's French because, well, I only took two years of French, but I can recognize French. So this pent a la main is usually associated with Limoges. I mean, not Limoges, Fabri Fabergé. Is that French Fabergé? Anyway, this is not porcelain. It is an egg, but it's French and it's cool. I liked it. I do, I do um, quill my own eggs. And so that's why this interested me. And I don't remember how much I paid for this, but, um, I'm sure it was like under $5, and I believe this would sell for about $10 to $20. Fun, very fun. They did have a couple of them, but I restrained myself, and I only picked up one. All right, next up are these Vintage Japan Ceramic Elf Gnomes. Now, it was in that same booth that was 20% off, and I paid $5 for the larger one, and $3 for the smaller one at 20% off, and they would sell for about $10 to $25 each. So that one was a pretty okay find. All right, and then another um, find at a different time is this. This did come from one of my favorite booths, so I'm sure I didn't pay more than $5 for it, but it's a cultured pearl and enameled mermaid brooch pin. It's not marked or anything on the back, and I believe this would sell for about, or resell for about $10. See on the back there, it's not, it's not marked, but I just liked 
I just like the subject matter. Everybody likes mermaids, right? All right, last item that I found at the Galleria of Arts and Antiques. Now there's one booth that is usually the last booth I look at and he or she, I'm not sure, he has a lot of art glass pieces. So this is actually a Blenco piece. So you can see the pommel mark there on the bottom. It's a rose bowl, a rose bowl. And that is one of my favorite shapes for art glass. That and the um, Jack in the Pulpit. That's one of my favorites too. But this again, pretty forest green, Christmas green. Lots of relatives who love green. But I actually got this for half price. Um, the vendor was um, having a half price Christmas sale. So I was very happy to pick this up. Um, I only paid $18 for it and it resells for about $45. So that was my favorite, one of my favorite finds of the day. I had lots of favorite finds um, this time. All right, well, that was everything for today. Thank you, current subscribers. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Everybody give a like and a share. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite item of the um, video was. And as always, until next time, I thank you for watching.